Hello and welcome to the continued synopsis of the book The Swiss Family Robinson. The story so far. The Swiss Family Robinson was shipwrecked. Carrying some provisions and valuable items from the ship's cargo, they managed to reach a tropical desert island. Here, they made use of the available resources and managed to build a tree house, a winter home in a cave, and another bigger tree house. They had some difficulties, but they managed to live a good life on the island as they shared duties and cooperated with each other. Continuing with the story, 10 years passed and the young boys were now young men and their parents were very proud. They called the island New Switzerland and many adventures occurred over the years. So they lived 10 years all alone on that island and the young boys became adults and their parents were very proud of them and they named their little island New Switzerland. On the shore of another island, Fritz had knocked down an albatross which was threatening to attack him and found a rag tied to the large bird's leg. On the rag was a message that an English woman had been stranded on the smoking rock. Fritz had no idea how old the message was. His father suggested that smoking rock sounded like a reference to a volcano. So one day when Fritz was on another island. He knocked down an albatross, is a big large bird like this, threatening to attack him. And once he knocked down that bird, he found a rag tied to that bird's leg. A rag is an old piece of cloth, a ragged piece of cloth. On the rag, there was a message written there by an English woman that she had been stranded on some smoking rock. Now Fritz could not make out how old the message was his father said maybe the smoking rock sounded like, you know, refer it to a volcano. Since there were no volcanoes in the vicinity, the bird might have come from hundreds of miles away. However, Fritz felt that someone needed his help and he was determined to do his best to find the sender. Before returning home, he had written his own note on the rag, retied it to the albatross's leg and had the bird fly off. Now, if you look at this picture, this is a volcano. And they had never seen anything like this in the vicinity or close by. So they, the bird may have come from hundreds of miles away. But still, Fritz was not comfortable at all. He felt that someone needed his help. And therefore, he did his best and he found, you know, that he said, I'm going to do my best to find the person who had written that note. So first thing that he did was before returning to his island, he wrote his own note on the rag. Then he tied it back on the albatross's leg and sent the bird flying off. The note told whoever received it, do not despair. Help is near. Fritz then successfully rescued the young woman Jenny Montrose. Though shy at first, soon she got used to living with the Robinson family. So he wrote a note. Uh, on that wrote, note he said, don't lose hope. Help is near. And then there was another adventure where he rescued or saved the young girl called Jenny Montrose. Now, if you want to know how he saved her, how he found her, you'll have to read the book or see the film. This is only the basic outline or the synopsis. Now, this Jenny Montrose who they saved was very timid, nervous, shy at first. But soon she got used to living with the Robinson family and you can see here she became very comfortable with them. One day, they saw a ship which had laid anchor. An encampment had been set up on one of the smaller islands. After checking the people through their spyglass, Fritz and his father decided to announce themselves, themselves after they had returned home and cleaned it up. 
they did not want the crew to think that they were savages. So one day, Fritz and his father, they saw a ship. The ship had laid anchor. Now, anchor is a, a, a heavy iron structure thrown into the water when the ship doesn't want to move. So this iron thing goes into the water. It stays there and the ship is in one place. So they saw the ship. The ship was had laid anchor and a temporary accommodation of huts and tents had been set up on one of the smaller islands. So the, Fritz and the father kept checking through their binoculars in those days called spyglass. And you can see spy plus glass making one word spyglass which is a compound word. So Fritz and his father they decided let us go and announce ourselves. Let us go to these people and say that we are here. But they will only do it after they returned to their home and cleaned it up. Because they didn't want the people who operated the ship, that is the crew, to think that they were uncivilized and they lived in a dirty manner, like savages. The next day, Fritz and his father met the captain and told him their own history as well as Jenny's. To everyone's surprise, it had been Jenny's father who had inspired the captain's search. He believed his daughter was still alive after three years. The captain had decided to attempt to find her. So when they went to the island and they met the captain of the ship and they told the captain their story, how they were shipwrecked and how they came to the island and then they told her, them about Jenny and how Jenny was rescued from another island. To everyone's surprise, the captain knew about Jenny because the captain was in touch with Jenny's father and Jenny's father believed that his daughter was still alive after three years. So he had persuaded this captain to go searching for her. And this captain had come precisely to search for Jenny. With a burst of celebration, the family, passengers and crew of the British vessel headed towards New Switzerland. Everyone was amazed by the prosperity and good health of the survivors. Now, burst of celebration means they were so happy that they knew that they had found Jenny. And so the British vessel, the vessel here meaning ship, okay. So it was a British ship. All of them headed towards the island where the Robinson family lived called New Switzerland. And when they reached there, they were so shocked at how successful the family was in living the last 10 years on the island and also they were amazed at the good health of the survivors. All of them, they survived that shipwreck. As the day ended, the father realized that decisions must be made about who wanted to stay on the island or return with the ship. Elizabeth and her husband did not want to live anywhere but on the island because they had been there for so long and had grown used to their life. Now there was a ship that came all these 10 years, no ships had come there. So now that a ship has come big enough to take them back, the father realized that some decisions had to be made, whether they want to live back on the island or they want to go back to civilized life. So he asked all of them and he and his wife didn't want to go. They were used to the island. They had made their life over there. Jenny asked if anyone would support her return to England. Fritz was the first to respond. He offered cheers for us who were going to Europe. Ernest on the other hand wanted to stay back. So Jenny, her father was back in England. Okay, they had come to search for her, so obviously she was going back. But Fritz was the one who first cheered. He said, yes, cheers to all of us who are going to back to Europe. Okay, so he was going back with Jenny. But his brother wanted, Ernest wanted to stay back. Franz, the youngest boy, decided to join Fritz in leaving. Franz wanted a chance to receive an academic education. Before Fritz left, he told his parents of his love for Jenny and his wish to marry her. So now Fritz is going because he loves Jenny. He wants to go with her. 
France, the youngest boy wants to go and get educated in a school or college. Okay. So Jack and Ernest stay back with their parents, William and Elizabeth. The father had kept a record of all the adventures they had had on the island. He handed over the journals to the captain to be published. Then the ship departed. So journals are a record of daily events and adventures on the island. Okay, so he handed over to the captain to be printed for other people to re read. And then the ship departed or left along with Ernest, along with Fritz and along with Jenny. Questions. How did Fritz learn about another victim forsaken on a faraway island? On another island, Fritz had knocked down an albatross which was threatening to attack him. There was a rag tied to its leg which told Fritz that there was a victim stranded or forsaken or marooned on smoking rock. Who was the victim and how long had she survived? The victim was a young lady called Jenny Montrose. She had survived for three years. Who is included in the word everyone? In everyone was amazed. Everyone is the family, crew and passengers of the vessel that was searching for Jenny Montrose. All of them were amazed to see how well the family had adjusted on the island. Questions? How does the adventure come to a happy end? With a burst of celebration, the family, passengers and crew went back to the island. Then Jenny and Fritz made a decision to go back to Europe along with his brother Franz. The rest of the family stayed back on the island. Who stayed on the island and who left? Elizabeth and her husband stayed on the island along with their sons, Ernest and Jack. Franz and uh, Fritz and Jenny returned to Europe. Franz returned with them as he wanted to receive an academic education. Okay. The Swiss family tree house has built, you know, people go. It's a tourist attraction. And this is what they have built as saying that this is the Swiss family Robinson's house. So you can visit this place if you wish to.